As I was thinking about this passage, I was struck by the words of an old hymn. Now, the hymn writer had in mind what it would be like if, if she were able to go and, and be in the garden with, with God. Like Adam and Eve who walked in the coolness of the day and they had conversations with God. Listen to what she said. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. She goes to this place to meet with God and in the quietness, she lets God through His Son speak to her. And He walks with me. And He talks with me. And He tells me I am His own. Stop right there for a second. What are, all the, what are the messages that you and I have been believing? Have we believed that because we failed a test, we're worthless? Has we believed that because we're vertically challenged, that we're not as good as other people? Have we believed that because we don't drive the right car or live in the right neighborhood or wear the right kind of clothes or have the, 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 the proper amount in our bank accounts that we're worthless? Do we have nothing worthwhile to give, nothing worthwhile to say? We're listening to the lies. If we will walk with Him and talk with Him, He will tell us we are His own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Because God will speak just directly to you. He will work in your life if you will simply let Him. One of the things that I often have people ask me is, is how can I communicate with God? What they really want is a, a conversation, just like you and I are talking right now. They want to hear God's voice. And so sometimes we go out of our way and, we, and we, we work ourselves up emotionally to try to make sure that we hear God's voice. You know, the song that, we, that uh, Rachel sang for us at the beginning to kind of set our minds towards seeking after the Spirit of God, that song, if it's not empowered by the Word of God, if it's only the nice feelings that we might have, that could take us off in the wrong direction because it's not about a feeling, it's about the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit's job is to illuminate God's Word to me. It's to help me understand what the Word of God says to me. So here's what happens. There are two words that are used in the, in the Greek for word. One is logos. The other one is rhema. Logos is the written word. Rhema is the spoken word. So here's how conversation with God happens. We get the written word of God into our minds and we speak the written word of God to our hearts, telling our hearts what to believe. And then the Spirit of God, when we go through whatever we're going through, speaks that word back to us. The Logos becomes the Rhema so that God is speaking to us and we are having a conversation with God. Now that's not out there weird. That's what it means to have the Holy Spirit live inside of us. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I'm his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I like this next verse. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing. And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet that the birds hush their singing. When was the last time God's word spoke so profoundly to you that the most beautiful bird would stop and listen? Does God's voice speak so clearly to you that the noise of this world is drowned out? 